You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. In this podcast, I want to focus on Hannah's song at the opening of the books of Samuel and the contrast it provides to the twisted tales of judges. I'm going to talk about Hannah's song, those first two chapters of 1 Samuel, as following the twisted tales of judges. I need to explain that because the order of books in the Hebrew Bible is not the same as the order in the Greek Bible and it's the Greek order that we're used to. In the Hebrew Bible, if you look at this list, you'll notice that we go straight from Judges to 1 Samuel. The book of Ruth that you're used to seeing there isn't there. In the Hebrew Bible, the book of Ruth is elsewhere. It's in with a collection of books that are used on major festivals. The Greek Bible moved Ruth from that festival collection and stuck it in between Judges and Samuel where it fits in terms of history but I want to read straight from the end of Judges into Samuel because that impacts our reading of Samuel so following those twisted tales Samuel starts remarkably well it starts with the story of Hannah's desire for a child it's a lovely story and sometime I must do a podcast on the story itself it's a story of a mother's love and her sacrifice but here it's Hannah's song I want to focus on because it links back to judges you remember how Hannah has prayed in the temple and Levi the priest, Eli the priest has believed her drunk and how her wish has come true and Yahweh gives her a child I just love this picture from William de Brailles in the medieval period I like the way the midwife is looking at Hannah while she's still holding the baby having checked him over presumably and wrapped him up lovely picture and it fits this lovely story do you remember the song that Hannah sang my heart exalts in the Lord my strength is exalted by my God my mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory there is no holy one like the Lord no one besides you there's no rock like our God talk no more so very proudly let not arrogance come from your mouth for the Lord is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed the bows of the mighty are broken but the feeble gird on strength those who were full have hired themselves out for bread but those who are hungry are fat with spoil the baron has borne seven and she who has many children is forlorn the Lord kills and brings to life he brings down to Sheol and he raises up the Lord makes poor and makes rich he brings low he also exalts he raises up the poor from the dust he lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and on them he has set the world he will guard the feet of his faithful ones but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness for not by might does one prevail the Lord his adversaries shall be shattered the Most High will thunder in heaven the Lord will judge the ends of the earth he will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed that's Hannah's song and looking both backwards and forwards looking backwards first did you hear the echoes that undo the horrors of judges running through that song but looking forward did you hear the echoes that foreshadow the glories of David who Samuel will anoint and of course those of great David's greater son who will fully and finally undo the horrors of judges yep Hannah's song makes a great opening for the book of Samuel and it makes a great ending for the book of judges bye for now